just chatting. You know what I love? What do you love? Finally, you're in the conversation. I, hey, I love, what's I up, love, Andy? Bro. Dude, I got a lot of shit going on. I'm trying to pay an invoice. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> trying to pay an invoice. What were you gonna say? Because I pay my bills. Oh, you know what movies I love? Real s- business stories. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Uh, all of them. The 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 big short mm-hmm. or dogs. War dogs, great movie. Wolf of Wall Street, Boiler Room. I don't think the movie Wall Street was based on a true story. I'm not anything businessy, whether it's real or made up. It's it's my jam. Well, they normally I love Rogue Trader. Um, I love God. What was the other one? Yeah, Boiler Room. They normally really have like they normally have like really good actors in it and actresses. So it's like it just makes it even better. Yeah, anything business related. And then if it's about a real business, like the Spotify that was series. Good. Yeah, that was good. Oof. The Blackberry movie. Okay. I didn't see that one yet. That's Nike. a good one. Yeah. That is a really, really, really good one. Did you one. see the Tetris one yet? Tetris. No. Tetris. I, I wanted to watch that. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Arbitrage is good. I, um, I re- yeah. I like, um, oh, I love um, Glenn, Gary Glenn Ross. Yeah. Uh, yeah, any of those businessy sales type of movies. Although well, the one with Will Smith was a little happy, the tr- pursuit of happiness. I like parts of it, but some of it was like, like really sad. I don't really I, like sad and movies. And the viewers that much. know at home that I don't like sad stuff. Yeah, I, I just watched Dune two. And yeah, you were saying. Like, this is the thing. Dune 1, I loved it. I love the storyline. I think that it truly has the chance to become another franchisable movie. Like, I, it was it was so, so good. The second one was by far better than the first one, but not saying the first one wasn't good. I think the first one was perfect in setting up the story. You know, it, it left it... It was almost like... Like, not... It was almost like it's a lot of sand. Like not a lot happened in the first one, but it was a perfect way to set the story for the second movie. The second movie was it like built up to like this perfect fucking orchestra. Like it was it was perfect. It was it was such a good movie. And honestly, I think that even if you haven't read the books, even if you don't know the story, even if like nothing, anyone could like that movie. Didn't it hit like the like record? Uh, ratings with Rotten Tomatoes, IMBD, like it was really going up there. Such a good movie. I like business movies too, but like, I like any movie, really. I could watch anything and have a good time. I mean, horror movies, is I, I enjoy them. I love. I, I like them, but I th- this is the thing. I really love, like, I love like a good movie, right? And horror movies, I just feel like, oh, oh, are so. You guys, like you, you reused. You guys gotta, you gotta sh- fucking like, like, like the 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 climax of the movie is normally fucking so like, like oh that was it like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was good. Like it's fun to watch them and that fun of who scared, but like, it's like cool emotions and shit. But like I don't know. I just feel like I wish that you know what <clears throat> what was that one called? Um. Oh my god! It was the it was the second movie of. Here's Johnny. What, um, Doctor Sleep? Yes. That was good. That was good. That was a good movie. That was a great horror movie. That was good. Was that horror thriller? What was it? But it was still good. It was still really good. What were what, you going to say? Have you guys seen that movie on Netflix with the guy that follows the woman? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, well, you, wait, is it good? A lot I of... Hey, here's the thing. And everybody knows this is the truth. The movies lately have been sucking donkey ass pretty uh, bad. I mean, no, that's not true. A lot. The majority, of, the majority of movies suck. The majority of them. And then there's the couple that are really good. Yeah. Real donkey ass. And there's like a good 5%, 3 to 5% that is actually good. It was designed to be entertaining. That movie, what's it called? Alone. I want you to show up. Is it on Netflix? The cover. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. Insane. It's. I'm like. Was it good? This is a movie. I'm like. This what? is insane. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Okay. Everything about it. It was, dude. This going? lady is like out, out and about, and this weird guy keeps pulling up in a truck, 
and keep asking her for help or whatever. I don't want to spoil the movie. Um, yeah, please don't, because I'm watching now. Check that movie out. I was like, holy shit. Oh, ah. And she's, there's a part where she's like trying to get away. You know what? You know, good, good, good movie. You know what's interesting? You said that most of the movies that come out now are like not that good. I agree. Majority of them are not that good, but I feel like a lot of really good, good movies that could turn into like classics are coming out right now like i was just saying dune 2 oppenheimer gran turismo i yes, know it's not a like, good movie gran turismo i, I know yes. it's not like you know whatever but that's a very very good movie um you know what i watched recently that was really good and i think you'll really like it cool. it was like it made you feel weird but it was like a great movie mr and mrs smith on amazon prime I think it's what it's called. That was so good. Listen, Childish Gambino, right? Um, oh, Mr. Donald Glover. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Don he is such a good fucking actor. And he, he plays the role so well that I didn't know if he'd play it well. Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie. TV show. It's a show. It's a series. What? I don't... I think it was. No. It's, a, it's a remake of the what from... Is it the one with Brad Pitt? No, um, maybe. No, it's a show on Amazon Prime. It's not a movie, it's a oh. show. But it was really good. Reacher is good, yeah. Reacher is good. The thing is, Reacher is like, I, yeah, I'm not even going to get into it. It's good, but it's like, I feel like every fucking episode was the same thing. I was falling asleep. We just reached past 40,000 views lifetime on our channel. Wow. That's pretty cool. Nice. 40. Thank you 40 to the K. audience. 40K right there. We're going to keep this train moving. Yes, and we're going to go to the next episode. How, I don't care how many subscribers. I'm just going to keep going care. with the flow. We could stay at 500. If I don't you care. you want to watch actual real business growth consultants and talk about what we know and all this other stuff, rather than... Should we... You, you know, don't have drop shipping. You know, you know what, what you I'm could do about If doing? you could drop ship and you could get this website and go drop ship. Do you want to be a millionaire? Let's talk about drop shipping. Drop this and then drop that. Ship, ship, ship. <laughs> Package, ship, ship, ship. Should we? You're forgetting about telling the audience that they need to run ads. How much do those ads cost, Andy? It's so bad. Oh, I okay. feel I feel so bad. All these fucking gurus talking and the, the poor kids and the, the young people trying to do better in life or the people just trying to have a second income, you are misleading these people. Drop ship, drop ship, drop ship, download my course, drop ship. Tell the people it requires an investment. You got to run ads. I get countless inquiries from people who come to me and they go, hey, I bought this drop ship website for 50 bucks or whatever. I don't know. And I have to tell them the news. Sorry, but What's your ad budget? Well, I, I could do 10 bucks a month. And then you realize that th these poor people got misled. Stop doing that. Should like, we? Hold on. Michael Jordan, let's go. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Stop doing this. Nobody gives a fuck about drop shipping. And if you're going to promote drop shipping, caveat, caveat, if you're going to pitch Alerts. drop shipping if you're gonna pitch drop shipping to someone think about that person when they buy your course or your guide on how to do so preface it with hey guys just a heads up don't want you to waste your 99 dollars or 50 dollars or whatever it is it does require an investment of ads of anywhere from a hundred dollars to uh, say upwards a uh, hundred dollars or more a day on facebook ads if you said something like that Yes, you would get less downloads, but then you could live with yourself for not being such a fucking scumbag. These days, though, <laughs> let's get into that on the next episode. It because, makes me crazy. I just, because these days, though, and these days might end soon, if you know what I mean. Hopefully it's not ending by the time this episode goes out, but it's a lot easier to do that sort of stuff without having to front money on paid ads. And we'll talk about it on the next episode yeah but should we do something where it's like a giveaway where it's like when we reach a thousand subscribers one day we get we give away like we choose one person and give like a thousand bucks to or something should we do something like that i would say free consulting okay <laughs> i would say free what if they're not a business if, though? They, well, if they own a business or they want to get into a career we give them guidance for free well we can do that anyway. i have a consulting hourly rate and huh? i won't yeah you want, you want some guidance 
real world guidance, not pretend. How about this? Not five... pretend YouTube guidance and the purchased followers. No, we'll meet up with you in this person. This is real. What about real at five, guidance? What about we're at 400 something subscribers right now? Yeah. And honestly, like, I'm not even trying to gain a shit ton of subscribers. I just want to do it for but, fun. But, at no, 500 but, subs, yeah. at 500 subs, we will meet, we but, will choose a business. Let me just know. clarify. I mean, just, just like, let me just clarify for the audience guidance coming from us or guidance just coming from our organization in general. We have dealt and deal with hundreds. hundreds of companies and as we work with these companies we watch them grow we know what it took to get them to grow real actual dollars and cents we sort of have a playbook and if you get advice from someone that deals with hundreds of businesses not someone who talks someone who literally works with businesses helping them grow hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them it holds a lot more weight than someone who just fucking talks or bought a bought a course and is like ah i'm an expert we know what works in different industries we know what budgets work in different industries if you for for example if you have a construction company you need to pony up a little bit more investment than let's say a pizza shop we're talking about a $20 item versus a $20,000 item. Whole different ball game, different levels of competition. So these are the small little things that we understand that could position you for success. So as a giveaway, 500 subs, as a giveaway, we will give out some complimentary consulting. And, and if, if you want to do it live on the show, let's do it. Or, I'm or not, listen, I honestly, not, I, I, it's all up here. And if I don't know something, I will research it and get back to them. And I don't, but the thing is, I don't want people to be like, oh, but like if, if they don't own a business or whatever, if they don't, we'll do legit, need, like, if, if you need career advice, not even career advice, we'll do personal, con like, we'll do like consulting on how just, just general, like, like bettering yourself, like just stuff like that will really personal development. Yeah. Personal development. will actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. 500 subscribers, which is a random subscriber. And we will do that. We will consult with you in any way we can. Business, personal. Thank you so much for joining us today on Real Business Roundtable. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time we post a new episode. Check us out on Instagram for clips, updates, more. Just got a new clip guy making really cool clips. Check yeah. him out. Peace out. Peace out.